What is up guys, it's your boy Brian and Grow self taught designer and today I'm going to go over how to get started as a UI UX designer simply, practically, and then one, two, three steps and how to get into this right away. So with that, let's get started. What is up guys, it's your boy Brian and Grow self taught designer and today I'm going to be answering the question of how to get started as a UI UX designer simply, easy, and quick. So I've answered this question a whole bunch of times or other times within this channel, but I'm going to really give you guys the one, two, three steps of how to get started specifically. So what you want to stay focused on as a UI UX designer is you want to start as a UI designer. Okay, UX, you can learn down the road. You want to start as a UI designer. So through understanding, you know, um, the design principles you know how to actually create the thing that you are creating rationale for which is the UX part you are then able to do both simultaneously it's just easier to absorb UX after UI rather than absorbing UX then transferring to UI I'd rather you know with the time allotted it's easier through understanding UI and then going to UX first as a UI designer what we need to do is get obviously our tools so I recommend Photoshop and sketch next thing is we want to be able to you want to be able to maneuver the applications so learning things of just like how to make circles how to make lines how to make squares how to make rectangles how to make rectangles with rounded edges um, basically getting to know your way around the application so it becomes second nature just testing and playing with all the tools all the basic stuff then step two copy every single app every big app facebook twitter um instagram youtube um netflix all look at take a look at all the big tech companies all the startups things on dribble things on behance copy and the thing what i've always talked about being a copy designer the reason this works is because you're copying good habits and copy things from the same fonts the same spacing the same colors because this will start to tune your mind to good habits already. It's almost like practicing with the masters, but you're instead of being told, you're kind of seeing and you're making neural connections. Like at a certain t point in time, you keep seeing the same theme over and over again, certain projects, you're going to be like, oh, you'll start to make your own connections for your own work. But for right now, copy other people's stuff, get used to seeing, you know, what's out there. And then when you practice enough, you're able to use what you've collected for your own projects and you no longer have to copy. But for right now, that's step two. Copy all the good habits from the designers, from all the big tech companies and on Dribbble. So step three, step three is just rinse and repeat. After all those, you understand the tools perfectly. You've gone out and copied the masters. You have now a better understanding of really what's going on, how and why these designers are using the text the way they are, the spacing the way they are, the layouts the way they are, the reason they're structuring their websites the way they are, the flow of the websites. Once you get a handle on that, then the third piece is basically internalizing all that and through all that practice, 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 you're able to then use what you've learned to create your own projects. So very short, very simple. Um, the question of today was how to get started as a UI UX designer, and this is how. So with that guys, end of the video. If you guys have any comments on what you think or you know any other details about this topic, drop them in the comments. Other than that guys, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Brandon Gross, out.